today. Now we're gonna get the doors done. That was, um, I said that last vlog and we never did. We just got the hood done. As you can see, coming along. Perf. But I did get a brand new front bumper because my bumper right now is horrible. I'll show you guys. So, you know, the paint's cracked off. It's literally cracked everywhere. So, this. And then there's, like, these bumps. Everything is uneven. It's cracked. It's broken. So, might as well buy a new bumper. So, that's what I did. So, I'm going to unbox that thing. And let go. The sun should flatten it out, so I'm going to put it in the sun. Brand new. Looking good. Okay guys, so I'm going to do a little how to remove your door handles and your side mirrors. I need to take them off for a wrap anyway, so I might as well show you guys how. I realize on my door, I don't have all of the bolts that normal people have on their cars because I took, I've took this door off before and I never put those bolts back. So it's kind of just on there like everything else on my car. But anyways, we'll start off with the door handles. So your door handle is going to have these little black plugs that go right here so you'll just have to pull them out they're rubber so they'll come out super easy but then as you can see there's a bolt in there which is a 10 mil and same for there be careful when you take it out you don't want it to fall in there um yeah so we'll start off by taking those out them in a safe spot. Okay, second one out. So after those two bolts are out, it should be rather easy to get it out. It should already be loose, as you can see. So you're just going to, you know, wiggle it out. By the way, my handle's broken, so what it looks like right now is not what yours is going to look like. And then for mine, I have to disassemble or remove the bolt here as well. So, door handle's off. Like I said, mine is broken. Okay, so to take the mirror off, uh, we're first going to have to get this out. You can use a flathead to just poke through and then lift it. Mine comes off pretty easy. You're going to flip it over and you're going to have to disconnect these. Be careful. You don't want to break anything. But So I just disconnect these with the flathead. You just push under and this should pop out. And then same thing with your push under and that should pop out. And then also do it underneath. There's four total. Push, pop, push, pop. And then that should come out. Same thing. It's hard to show you guys when you're going to help me record, but yeah. So, push, 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 push. And it should be out. And from there, probably start taking the door. So just know, most likely yours will have a bolt behind here. So you'll pull it and all the way back there is a bolt and you'll need to remove that in order to get the door off. Mine I don't have already so yes, that's fine. Once you have your door off, you'll be able to remove this. And from 
there. This is also a tunnel. And I'll be able to untighten those, just three of them. And then the mirror should want to come out, but it's still going to be connected to here, so you need to disconnect this part right here. And once you disconnect that, the whole mirror should come out. So you just wiggle it out like that. You can take the whole thing. Like that. Now it's done. So that is how you take out the handle and the mirror. Okay, now on to the other side. I'm gonna have the black plugs, remove them, and then 10 milliliter. So this one actually works, so I'll show you what it looks like. So when you remove it, it's going to be very gentle. And as you can see, this one's connected and it has a long metal piece to it. When you put it back in, there's going to be a little blue hole. And this needs to go back in the hole because if not, it's not going to work. So let me show you with my flashlight. Oh, there you go. So you'll see the little blue hole. And basically that middle part needs to go right back in there. And everything should be fine. So, yeah. Unless you have broken handles like me, then it's not going to work. Because mine's literally broken. But we'll talk about that later. Moving the mirror on the passenger side, you have to take this part out. So I'm just using a flathead. You risk breaking things. So, yeah. It should be pop out. Just be careful. Oh, there we go. Doesn't look like anything broke, so yay me. And then there's some bolts in there. Ay ay ay, secret hiding spots. Let's see. Yep, one back there. And one back there. Yay me. Part one done. Same for the top. Connect it back. Okay, second one. This part you're gonna remove this, pull your handle back, take another flat head, push under. And pop that piece out just like that. It's gonna look like this. Now, when you open it, you're gonna see that, and then there's another bolt all the way in the back. So once again, it's another 10 mil. So we're gonna remove that. Okay, and be careful because you might lose the bolt. And it dropped, of course. Okay. From there, we need to remove this whole piece so that should pop out. Just like the other side, but this is going to be connected with it. And then once again, just going to remove one of these. So get your flat. So it should look like this again, and then the door should be ready to pop out. Once the door is pulled out. You don't have to take it all the way off if you're just going to take the mirror. So once you get this part off, that's really all you need to get off. So just open the corner here and then from there you'll use your 10 mil to once again take all these three off, disconnect here, and then the mirror should come out. I'm ready to wrap.